Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay. Back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance to everybody watching right now. Um, before we start the video, if you guys need to speak with me, I do one-on-one -on -one consultation, so I'll leave my link in my description. Make sure you guys follow me on all my socials, man, and smash that like button for me. All right, so I had to pull out the mic today because I want you guys to really hear this message and um, really hear me and understand me clearly. So your energy makes you a target. When you are vibrating at a certain frequency, right? At a high level, um, it makes you a, a target, okay? And you'll notice that you will experience some attacks. All right, now when I mean attacks, we're talking spiritual. So we're talking things that's going to shift your energy, that's going to shift your emotions. All right, and try to drop you down to a lower frequency. And it'll be very subtle things. See, when we talk about attacks, especially spiritual attacks, people think it's something traumatic or catastrophic that's gonna happen. And that's not how it happens. Especially if you're anointed and you have great energy, you have a, a good heart, right? You're not going to experience something like that because you're protected. You see, when you have a, a good spirit about you, you know, you're calm, you're, you're chill, you don't really do anybody wrong, you know what I'm saying? You will be protected in some ways. And with this protection, there's certain things that can't happen to you, right? There, there are certain entities that can't get to you, okay? Because you're protected, you have that force field around you. So what they will try to do though, right? And this is what I want you guys to listen close for is, They'll throw little shots at you, right? Little jabs, little subtle things. Very little subtle things that they'll throw at you. And you won't pay it no mind because you think it's just, oh, it's just, you know, it's just life. This happened to me, oh well. But you're not even knowing that's a spiritual attack, okay? See, but you have this force field around you, you know, they're throwing rocks and, and pebbles at it, but it can't penetrate that force field. So how they try to penetrate your force field is they'll put obstacles in your way. You know, oh, there's a roadblock on this road, it's closed. Or this road has a lot of traffic blocking you from getting to your destination. See, they'll hit you with little distractions. See what I'm saying? One day you wake up, you go to start your car and your car acting up. It was just working fine the other day. Now it's acting up today. Little things like that. All right, you go to try to swipe your card, use your debit card and it's not working. You try to go take some money out your bank account and every ATM you go to is out of order. You know what I'm saying? It's the little things. And the reason why is because they gotta try to wear you down, wear down your force field, okay? And they do this by trying to shift your emotional state. When all these little things that's happening, it starts to add up. It starts to beat down on you. You start to get irritated. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section if y'all get irritated sometimes, just some little things start happening throughout your day. You might've woke up, you was having a great day, and all of a sudden, it's this little thing that happens. You got a flat tire or, or just anything small that just happens out of nowhere, you know? And it starts to irritate you. But see, that's how they get you. It's dropping your vibration because you start to give that your energy, your focus. You let it get to you and bother you to the point where it, it shifts your emotional state. So now your, your vibration drops and this is how your force field gets weaker. You see? This is why you gotta be mindful of what's going on around you, okay? We have to become masters of ourselves. Most importantly, masters of our emotions. Stop reacting to everything that happens to us. You have to be calm no matter what situation you're in, okay? There's always a solution. So instead of you focusing on the problem, focus on the solution. That's what I do, you know? Anytime I have something subtle happen in my life, I'm like, oh, this is an attack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is, they trying to get under my skin. So what I'll do is I'll try to find a solution to it. I stay, you know, I stay in my, my same mode. I'm not shifting my energy. I used to have a problem with this back in the day. You know, earlier in my journey, I used to have a real big problem with this. I would get 
frustrated and, and angry when certain things happen, you know? And next thing I know, my whole week is bad. Just because I, I let my, my force field down for that one moment. You see what I'm saying? So I want you guys to understand that when you're vibrating at a certain level, when you're on a certain level of consciousness, you are protected. Okay, there's certain things that can't happen to you. But what they do is they whisper in your ear. These entities, right, these spirits, they'll, they'll whisper in your ear and, and try to persuade you to feel a certain way. You ever be in your house, right? You just sitting there chilling and then all of a sudden you just have a, a negative thought or a negative vibe or feeling come out of nowhere, right? And you're like, what? Where's this coming from? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm good, I'm content. Like, why do I feel anxious? Why do I feel a bad vibe all of a sudden? Because them entities, they whisper in your ear. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got, you know, you got those bills coming up next week, right? They whisper, you know, you got those bills coming up next week. You know, did you, did you make enough this month to, to pay them off? You know, and it's all these little things in your ear. Next thing you know, you start worrying about stuff that you shouldn't even be worried about. Like you're good and you you trying to figure out why am i so worried why do i feel like there's something i need to do why do i feel so anxious right because they're trying to lower your force field so i want you guys to understand you, you got to be more aware of your surroundings be more aware of how you feel you see because this is how we start to go back into our old ways and start doing destructive things it's because we listen to those voices Right? Remember, the words are powerful, right? Words are very powerful and words are, are in many forms, okay? The nature of a thing, is, it stays the same, no matter what form it's in. So words can be vocal through my vocal cords. It can be through thoughts as well, you see? So when you guys having these thoughts, you don't understand that these are a lot of times words or projections coming from entities, right? That don't have a solid body. They don't have a vessel, but they're intelligence. Okay, you can't see them because they don't have a solid body. They're not dense, but they're still intelligent life forms. Okay, and the only way that they can take over your body is they have to make you or persuade you to use your free will against you. That's how they connect to you, all right? Y'all seen Get Out, you know, The Sunken Place. That's what that is, man, it's, it's layers to that. The Sunken Place is you not being yourself. You're not in control of your actions and your decisions. You're just there, you're on autopilot. You know, a lot of guys who aren't, um, you know, haven't fully mastered themselves yet, you find yourself having urges to look at the cheeks and then you start doing things out of your control. Well, if that's not you, it's, it's something else that's controlling you because you allowed your free will to be used against you. And I'm not making excuses. There's no excuse. You made that choice. This is why you got to be aware of yourself. You got to make sure you're meditating, man, so that you can balance yourself. All right. That way you can sort through these thoughts. A lot of these thoughts aren't yours, but it's a it's an attack on you. OK, this is what this is. It's spiritual warfare. So don't look at the big things. Stop looking at the big events and waiting for that to happen for you to understand it's a spiritual war. It's the little things in your day. All right. It's going to be the car trouble. It's going to be you going to the grocery store to get something and everything that you got on your list is out of stock. Little things like that. That's going to irritate you and, and, and frustrate you to, to lower your vibration. All right. So I want you guys to understand this, man. It's crazy, too, because it took me a minute to figure this out. Right, it took me a minute to figure this out. Like, like I told you, I thought it was just coincidence. When a lot of these little things were happening. But now I understand, like, oh, OK, you know what? Let me let me not react to this because I know what this is. I know what they're trying to do. All right. See, as the energy rises on this plane, we have to be on point 24-7. Right. Because as everything is rising up, they have to use um, stronger tactics to try to get to you because you're evolving. You're evolving very fast. All these events that's coming up, you know, with April and 
the the solar eclipse and we just had a full moon like like it's a very energetic time right now okay it don't matter whether you believe in it or not you can't deny the fact that it's a very energetic time there's a lot of things going on you know it's a very energetic time when you start seeing a lot of events happen like in the news and with celebrities and with with just the the social environment you start to see all these things come out of nowhere movies start coming out you know music of all your favorite artists all these things start to come out right because it's a very energetic time when you're in a very energetic time it's like everything is rushing everybody's rushing to try to feed off of it you see what i'm saying to try to try to siphon some of it so it is what it is but you got to realize this all right we, we got to raise our, our level of consciousness and awareness because things are shifting we're going through so many shifts like we're going through shift after shift after shift after shift Okay, and you can't get left behind, man. You, you got to stay tapped into yourself. What you did yesterday might not work for you today. That's how crazy it's getting. Right? I just made a video the other day about how your old routines aren't working. You could have did a routine last week. And this week, you're like, man, ain't nothing working for me. That's how fast we're shifting right now. Okay? Everything's breaking down so fast. So you got to keep up. You got to keep up with the enemy as well. Because the enemy... As we upgrade, the enemy is upgrading too. The enemy is trying to find a way to stay relevant. You see what I'm saying? So it's real out here. I just want you guys to know that, man. Y'all gotta stay on y'all on, on, on y'all P's and Q's. Stay ten toes down, right? Stay righteous. Keep your heart light as a feather. Okay, that's gonna be your protection as well. It's keeping your heart light, being kind. Ain't nothing wrong with having a soft heart. Okay, don't let nobody tell you no different. You gotta have a cold heart and all this. That's gonna, that's gonna get you messed up out here. All right? I'm telling you, it's gonna get you effed up out here if you're having a cold heart, having a calcified heart. That's what that is. Just like you don't want a calcified pineal gland, right? Cause you gotta see, you gotta be aware. You gotta have that intuition to know what's going on. See in between the lines. Your heart is a, a, a level of consciousness as well. So if you calcify your heart, that's going to hinder your growth. That's going to hinder you getting a lot of light codes. All right. So try to keep yourself light and pure. Try to keep your vibration high. Do everything with love right now. Okay. Even yourself. Love yourself first. My homework for you guys is to find three ways to show yourself love today. Or for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month. Find three things, right? Every single day that's going to show you that you love yourself. That's going to show love to yourself. Today I went outside, I went skating. That's paying homage to my childlike self. That's showing that I love myself, right? I did intermittent fasting today. That's showing love to myself because I'm allowing my body to detox and cleanse itself before I feed it and put it back to work trying to digest more food. I did a meditation session today. That's showing love to myself. I'm allowing my body to recalibrate. I'm allowing my mind to have a break and to recharge and for me to be at peace, right? Find that Zen within. So find three things that's going to show love for yourself all right and um yeah man start there all right y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video and you know try to help some other people who might not know let them know some things that you're doing to show yourself some love all right so with that being said like i said guys i do one-on-one -on -one consultations so my link is in my description smash that like button man follow me on all my socials and y'all have a beautiful day i'm out peace